Good morning, friends. We are out of my studio today. I am gonna make a DIY body chain for my client closet. I'm super excited about this. I've never done this before, but I think it's gonna be a blast. So stick around and watch. I'm Jen, single mom, artist, and entrepreneur. This is my journey to building life by my design. Come along while Jen juggles it. Okay, so I've never done this before, but I love body chains. I think they add a lot of flair to a session. And I own a couple of purchased body chains um, that are in my client closet. But my biggest problem with most of them is that they're made as a one size fits all deal, which is fine, but their idea of one size is usually small to large, right? And I would say that 80% of my clients are plus size women. So those body chains don't really fit like they should. They're not as um, versatile as I would like them to be. So I'm gonna build my own so that it can be versatile. I'm gonna build it to fit a size 3X, but I'm also gonna build it in a way that when I shrink it down to fit a smaller woman, it still looks freaking amazing, right? Because there's no reason why a body chain shouldn't be able to fit multiple sizes of people. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's start by, I'm gonna show you my materials. So I have here some chain that I picked up for the base of this body piece. I have some pliers that are jewelry making pliers. Look how rusty they are. I've owned these forever and a day. I have some um, jump rings, which are going to kind of hold everything together, and a pair of wire cutters because those are important. But this package here has my actual stuff I'm going to use for the bling of this body chain. Wait till you see it. going to make this with chandelier chain. Look how cool this is going to be. I'm so excited. So this is going to be our blingy body chain. So I have a couple of pieces that I found on Amazon that are kind of similar in structure to what I want to build. I'll show you those here. but they're not blingy enough. So we are gonna fix that problem. Now this body form here is set up to be sized for a size 3X. So whatever I build on this is going to fit up to a size 3X. And I'm, my plan is to build it in a way that I can size it way, way down for my women who aren't 3X size women. But everyone, should get to have a gorgeous, blingy, awesome body chain piece that they can wear for a session. So we're gonna make this piece as versatile as possible. Let's get to it. So I want this to be a two piece set. I'm gonna make the top and the bottom piece separately so that they can be worn together or that they can be worn as individual pieces. And I'm gonna start with the neck chain. So. First of all, I just want to get an idea of what size I need here in my chain. Let me turn this around so you can see the back side. So I want to leave some excess so that there's room to adjust it, right? I'm going to cut this back here. I'm gonna put a clasp on it because that's necessary. Oh, maybe I should show you this up close. Let me give you an up close view of what that looks like. Okay, so here's the up close view. So you're gonna take your jump ring. Can you see that little guy? I don't know if it's in focus. 
and I'm going to pick it up between my pliers and I'm going to use this other set. Now these pliers are actually to wrap wire around, um, but they work for this purpose too. And I'm going to open my junk ring just by twisting it half partially away. See? So it's open. I'm going to set my clasp on. Now, then I'm going to put it, I'm going to, I'm just going to show you this here, but I'm going to, I'm going to actually do it on the mannequin. And then you put, look, I can't get a hold of it. And you're going to put your chain around it. And then you're just going to bend it back towards itself to close it shut. That's it. Simple, simple, simple. Now I'm going to undo this because I'm going to actually put it on the, <laughs> on the mannequin. Okay. I'm going to put my clasp here. Close up my jumper. Um, I like these to go the other way <laughs> because I'm right handed, so this makes the most sense for me. So there we go. There's the initial piece. I'm going to put a piece that goes down the breastbone, just a piece of chain down the best breastbone. So I'm going to go ahead and open my jump ring. I should have drawn you a picture of like what my plan was so that you could see what I'm kind of doing as I, what I'm envisioning as I go, but all right, this works too, right? So I'm attaching this to the chain kind of in the center. And I want this to go kind of about here. So that's where I'm cutting it off. Huh. Super simple, right? Now, I'm also going to attach chain from here that goes around to the back. So I'm going to attach, I'm going to open another piece of chain. I realize I'm getting way close to the camera when I go get my stuff. Maybe I should move it over here. Now you can see what I'm doing, but I'm not like right in your face, right? Oh, that was terrifying. Nobody needs that. All right, I have these little bit bigger jump rings that I'm gonna use down here at the bottom. All right, so at the bottom of this, I'm gonna attach another jump ring. This is a bigger jump ring than I was using before. And I'm gonna attach two ends of chain because one is gonna go around this way and one is gonna go around that way. And I'm not measuring anything. I'm just kind of doing this by feel, which may be the totally wrong way to do that. I don't know. I've never done this before. I've never built a piece of body jewelry before. But how bad could it be, right? If I screw it up, then I toss it and I start fresh, right? So my plan is that this piece, these two pieces are going to go around back. Let me turn it this way, this chain's shorter. I'm loving my mannequin here. Oh, that chain isn't shorter. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Look, I got them all tangled. Way to go, Jen. So these are gonna come around back and fasten in the back here. That's my plan, okay? So, yeah, I'm gonna put my clasp right about here. I'm going to cut this off. There's going to be bits of uh, metal on my floor. That's what vacuums are for, right? I'm, <laughs> I'm so kind of blase about these things, you know? It's just mess. It's just dirt. It cleans up. I have kids. This has happened. So, here's my jump ring. Here's my clasp. Close it up. Now, oh, get a 
hold it this side again. You sit there. Talk into pieces, whatever. That's fine. Now I'm going to leave a little extra tail on this chain, just like I did the other one, because why wouldn't I, right? There's just no reason not to. Leave a little extra space so you know things work the way you want them to work. Right. Pick up my extra chain here. All right, so here's our front. So this is, this is our base. So now, so we have a piece that goes around the waist, a piece that goes straight up the middle, a piece that goes around the back. <laughs> oh, these aren't, this is not one continuous piece. That's probably good. I thought it was one continuous piece. That's probably a good thing. So now my thought process is that I'm gonna have these attached to the center and then to the band, and then to the center, and then to the band, and then to the center, and then to the band. Something kind of like that. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. That's that's my plan. We'll see how it works. <laughs> it may not look like what I expect. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna use these a little bit bigger jump rings. This one's going directly into the crystal. And I'm going to start down here at the base. Again, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, right? Okay, I changed my mind about something. All right, let's try this again. So at each end of these crystals is its own little ring. And I'm gonna attach my jump ring to both of those rings. This way I'm attaching both sides to the same point so that it'll be uniform all the way up. Uh, that just seems to be, seems to me to be what makes the most sense. We'll see how it works, right? Okay. I'm gonna do these. So now I'm gonna decide on length here. I'm gonna go to right there. I don't actually need to cut these. These uh, these are like um, key rings, so you can just pop them out. And I'm gonna do this from the same distance, so they match. Cut my finger in it. Be much more helpful if these jump rings are out where I can reach them. Open it, Jen. Open it. That's what you grabbed the other piece for. Okay. So then I'm going to put my jump ring through my crystal. And I'm going to attach it wherever it makes sense, which seems to be right about the off.
All right, we're just gonna repeat the process a lot.
pink. Now for the bottom. Okay, so I want the bottom piece to be separate from the top. I want it just to go around the waist and to be able to be adjustable as well. So I'm gonna need a clasp, so that's first. I'm gonna cut this and leave, once again, I'm gonna leave a little space because it just seems silly not to. Okay, so now that I have the waistband piece on, I'm gonna work down here on the floor because that's just gonna be easier. <laughs> than, Cause right, it's right at workable height here, right? So let's get to work. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. I'm gonna start in the back. I don't want my back pieces to be any closer than about here because I want, if I have to size it down, for that to work well. And the best way for that to work well is for these to have some give in the room, right? So I'm gonna grab a couple of these long ones that haven't been cut yet. I'm gonna use this piece to measure this one so I know that they're the same length. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna do like that. I'm gonna do another string here, strand here, another strand inside that, another strand inside that. You get the idea, right? I'm so excited. I think it's going to be awesome. You know what? I will put the top piece on. Take my little jacket off here. I don't know how easy this is going to be to put on by myself. shoot with it. I don't know if you get to see those or not. It just depends. So yeah, finished product. 